Today on Capitol Hill, Goldman Sachs was cast as a villain, preying on investors as the economy crumbled. A day of testimony before Congress was marked by testy exchanges and firm denials of wrongdoing. And after CEO Lloyd Blankfein finished answering the questions of senators, he spoke to us in the Nightline interview. Until now, this was our view of Goldman Sachs, their new gleaming headquarters in lower Manhattan, the glass deflecting cameras peering in. Today, that deflection was on Capitol Hill. You are taking a position against the very security that you are selling. A scene unheard of. The CEO of the notoriously silent investment giant now sitting before senators who were determined to peel back the bank's veneer. With the SEC alleging Goldman sold investors toxic mortgages that had been purposely bundled together to fail. To be betting against the very securities which you're selling to your clients, how do you expect to deserve the trust of your clients? Our clients' trust is not only important to us, it's essential to us. Do you think they know that you think something is a piece of crap when you sell it to them and then bet against it? you think they know that? We are principles. The, the act of selling something is what gives us the opposite position of what the client has. We're talking about betting against the very thing that you're selling, betting against it, going short against it, without disclosing that to that client. Is there not a conflict? In the context of market making, that is not a conflict. I don't think our clients care or they should care. We heard it today. This is a shit deal. This is crap. Senator Levin today liberally used an expletive. That Timberwolf was one shit deal. He took straight from an email obtained from inside Goldman Sachs. Okay, you're trying to sell a shit deal. That expletive had been used by Goldman executives to describe a product sold to investors. You sold hundreds of millions of that deal after your people knew it was a shit deal. Does that bother you at all? Goldman executives did not budge. I don't recall selling hundreds of millions of that deal after that. And by the way, it sold it. A lot of it after that date. Should Goldman Sachs be trying to sell a deal? Well, can you answer again, that one? Can words, you answer that one, yes or no? There are prices in the market that people want to invest in things. Even on the simplest of questions, executives hedged their answers. Could you give me a yes or no to whether or not you considered yourself to have a duty to act in the best interests of your clients? I believe it, we have a duty to serve our clients well. And when asked if any of the executives at least felt partly responsible for the financial collapse. There's things that we wish we could have done better in hindsight, but at the times that we made the decisions, I didn't think we did anything wrong. Or even regret. Regret to me means something that you feel like you did wrong, and, and I don't have that. And for the first time, we heard from the fabulous Fab, that 31-year-old trader Fabrice Tor singled out in the SEC lawsuit, in emails referring to himself as the fabulous Fab standing in the middle of all these complex, highly leveraged exotic trades. Today, he found himself in the middle of something else. I regret, you know, these emails, they... they um reflect very bad on the firm and on myself. He categorically denied any wrongdoing. The CEO, Lloyd Blankfein, in an interview with ABC's Claire Shipman tonight. Do, do you feel that you're being singled out in any way or, or, or blamed, you know, the, the face of what went wrong on Wall Street? Is, is that fair, unfair? We surely aren't the only financial firm, and I think in most of these markets we were not the largest or even a large participant compared to others. Um, so I can wish that the focus wasn't so disproportionately on us, but I'm not making any claims of unfairness. Born in the Bronx and raised in the housing projects of Brooklyn, Blankfein is a Wall Street survivor, rising through the ranks, navigating the rough and tumble side of Wall Street, a take no prisoners trader. You have to be to survive at Goldman. And tonight yes, he I made did. it clear Thank that you. he believes he much. and the bank you, uh, will survive this. I know this has been a grueling process for you in many ways. Have you at all thought about resigning, stepping down? Have you, has that ever crossed your mind? Uh, no, it hasn't. And as this rare public grilling played out today, we took careful note of Goldman's stock, holding its own, even inching up. 
A Signal Industry Insiders told us that the testimony did not reveal much. And that is Goldman's game. I'm David Muir for Nightline in New York.